<laughs> my pheromones <No>. were. <laughs> no, but y'all have like a really good dynamic and stuff because they Thank really you. played up on the aspect. Like, oh, you're really divorced? Cause I don't believe they're divorced at this point. Like, I mean, so I mean, how was that kind of seeing that progression over the course of the season? Well, I mean, I, you know, I, there's, it's purposeful that I wear uh, Jefferson. I wear my wedding ring. I mean, he still wears it even when, unless he's fighting crime. And because even though they are divorced, there's like. I think he's just not giving up without a fight, so it's easy for me to play. I don't. I'm not necessarily playing that weird divorce. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I think they set it up for reasons that weren't really anything to do with their love for each other. Yeah. Practical safety. Yeah. You know, I mean, we use the analogy of it being an addict, going out, and doing this thing which is obviously endangers your life, and that that was something that was hard for her. But I think all of those feelings are still there, yeah. and then they've raised, they've had these beautiful children together, and they really want to be good parents. Yeah. And you know what? They, they just just trying to do the best they can under the circumstances like most people do, I think. So, you know, I think that all the feelings are still bubbling away. What do you, where do you want to see your character evolve towards um, being the next season? Where do you want to see your character <laughs> evolve towards? Well, that's a question, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the dynamic where the two of you are actually kind of like, you work well together, you kind of have that love, and you look each other in the eyes like, oh, you start batting, and all of a sudden, the rise pull you away. Right. And I keep saying, come on. Right. Come on. <laughs> so Let's you want on. to see them back together. Yes, I yeah. do. And I think, you know, the audience does, and I think that's a great theme in our show, but, yeah. you know, ultimately, they're really going to be coming up against some incredible challenges in this right. next season. So, yeah. Always gonna, there's always going to be a push and pull, and yeah. I think that's good. It keeps us guessing, it keeps the audience guessing, and I think as long as you guys are invested in that, that's, that's great. That's yeah. exactly what we want. We want you to care, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of elasticity in the family dynamic throughout the season, you know, yeah. opening up and closing up, and at the end where you see the whole family running together at the end. That, that goes back to your points when in last year, the pressure was here. You mentioned the family is the big dynamic here. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully the season we'll see that again yeah, along definitely. the way. I mean, it's part of the show. We can't. Right. The show is about the family and they just right. want to be superheroes. So I think that it wouldn't be our show without that piece. Oh no, without question. Know. And I think it's. I mean, I think it's resonated with the audience. Um, and I think. I mean, I can only really speak for myself, but that's also like my favorite part. I love all the family dynamics and all the family scenes and the aspects of. A family. I love that. It's the family scene that for me has stood out as two. But one way you talk to um Brian's name right now, top of head, the boyfriend of the dog. Oh Khalil, yeah. Khalil. And you said, What do you do when you got shot? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone's ever. like, Is he really asking him that? <laughs> I, that was a scene. I, 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 for sure, I wanted to play. I could have done that scene all day long. I love doing that and just trying different things. And Playing with him, yeah, it was good. so much fun. Yeah. But, and then the other one where um, where we were discussing the fight um, at the roller rink, and you said, "Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." yeah. yeah. <laughs> a good dad. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, and she's like. Yeah. And it, doesn't that feel yeah. like all of those moments in our show, I, I love that because every, like every dad could relate to that moment. Yeah. Every uh, in dad, in the, in the, yeah, every oh, dad could relate to that moment yeah. where they're at the dinner table and, and Jen's like, I'm going to have sex. And every dad's like, oh, oh you that know. face you made was yeah. <laughs> 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 I have, I have, I have a daughter. Really well. yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly. I have a 13 year old. It's, you had a lot of different things, different elements, but then sometimes a little subtle family jokes, a little family dynamics yeah. that yeah. kind of brought brought them right home and related yeah. immediately. Yeah. And I thought that was fantastic about season one. Hopefully oh, thank we'll you. see a lot more of that in season two and beyond. You will, you will uh, for sure. And I know I mentioned that joke earlier about the, about the animal like that. Yeah. But here's the thing. I love just the the image of black love. Just the way it's displayed in the show. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I at least this is just more me just telling you. It's beautiful how how both of you look on screen. Oh, it's just you. beautiful. And that whole scene, just her, oh my god, I see the spot, like, come on, Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Enjoy the